we have a no office policy. That does not mean that we have not an office. We just have a no office policy. So this is what we're talking about today. That's a panel with the architect of that building and that's the whole new building and uh, the new work concept of Springer is integrated. So it's about the tools that they work with. They do a lot of innovative stuff communication wise, but also architecture wise. And we will be able to see a 3D model. I hope we can share that as well. And it's quite impressive to see what I didn't know is they build it almost as high up as this original building here. So we are in the, in the I think it's the 19th floor and they build it up to the 15th floor. So it's quite, quite a building. And um, today the format that we have here, um, just want to share that before we start. So this is an internal event. Dr. Defner will moderate the panel and I will be in the panel. Um, and what I will do afterwards we have our advisor, Julia uh, von Winterfeld here. So I'm looking forward to her opinion on this whole change that they're going through here. Yeah, let's see how intense the discussion will be. This is like first row impressions from the actual workforce, what they think about new work, a new building that you invest in. I mean, that's millions that you invest into a new building and then technology behind that. So many different aspects today. So that was a full afternoon of new work. Um, I would say that there is no other example in Germany right now doing it in that format, like with that open discussion. I see a lot of like digital transformation panels, events, but not where you actually have people participating when it comes to new work. And I'm standing here with you, yeah? And as I mentioned earlier, we are working together whenever there is a cultural leadership or any people related stuff at Blackboard that we don't solve by, I would say, like training, skills, tools, we talk and then we decide very openly if maybe we postpone a project, you do something first, quite often you ask us for it. So yeah, maybe you give a little glimpse in. Well, I think as you said, because uh, technology and, and culture go together. I mean, we're in the, I like to sort of call it the human machine phase of our life. Uh, and so, you know, with us both, we have the human and the technology side. This is a starting point. Like yeah. They actually can see it every day. So as you can see, there's a lot of work happening at the moment down there, but not every company is building a new building every day. But the one thing I found was tremendous that nobody in the room, in the discussion, questioned the role of an office. I was the only one saying like, we have a no office policy, but we still have an office because you need space where people meet and gather together. I mean, you could watch a YouTube video from me and then sharing that. Is that emotional for this discussion here? Not at all, simply, simply by that. And for certain things, you need a very intense communication. You just don't need it every day. But there's lots still to, yeah, to think about what does that space really do? And I think that your approach of saying, you know, do we really need an office is actually the right question. Uh, and from my perspective, do we actually need to discuss the building or should we actually be discussing more about how people are relating to one another and what that uh, communication line is? I think that kind of suffered a little bit because we were quite focused on having that building because it's being built. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I have no clue when it should, it's supposed to be finished. I should know, but I don't. Ooh,